Hello and welcome to Crusader Kings 2. Now, um, it's been a long time since I actually really played this game. There's been quite a few expansions released. I think the last time I played was Rajals of India. Um, I played a little into Charlemagne, but I'm not particularly up to date with the whole mechanic system. And um, yeah, I thought, why not? Might as well get back into it. It's a fantastic game. I've been uh, neglecting it somewhat, so you know what we're going to do? We're going to play Yorvik. Which is where I'm from, actually. Well, South Yorkshire, but it is uh, the region of Yorvik, or it would have been right now. And holy shit, we start with a lot of troops. Okay. Right. Well, I did not expect I'd start with close to 15,000 troops. <laughs> right, the Sons of Lodblock invasion of Northumberland. So we have uh, King Bjorn, Bjorn, Bjorn. Beyond Ironside. I have to try and learn a Danish accent. It's nothing like Danish right now, but uh, yeah, Bjorn. Okay, how many other troops do we have with us? We have a decent amount actually. Could we raise any extra troops? Is he. No, we're kind of full up. We can't really have a retinue. Yeah, retinue is completely different from when I last played, which is something cool. They were kind of OP, to be honest. Okay, uh, do we want a marriage new? No. She's content. Chieftain of man, so we got the island man down here. Here. Um, I like the Yaldum, yeah, the Yaldum of Scotland. Which is quite important. Important indeed. Let's take a look at her. Yeah, I'm totally new to this. Okay, let's see. So you, my friend, are a king. This is your sibling. Okay, so he doesn't actually have a daughter as of yet. Um, so she would probably be far too young for us to wait. So, mm, we have, yeah, okay. So we'll find ourselves a nice wife. Um, we'll go with the Germanic culture group, why not? Uh, Skane. We need some really good starts then. We'll have a look for some really good starts. She has ridiculously good stats. And some decent perks. Well, traits actually, so... Yeah. Let's see, what are we like? So we have a very low diplomacy. So she'd round us out nicely. So we'll go with uh, Miss Elislaug. Elislaug. I really wish... I could say these names properly. That will result in a um, hundred prestige loss, but that's okay. Right, let's break these dirty Anglo-Saxons. I don't want to be in the front lines myself, because there's a good chance you will die. It tends to happen a fucking lot. Actually, no, we'll go south and cross the um, Kingdom of Mercia. Ah. Ah, and well, we gain the uh, prestige back anyway, so... Nothing lost and uh, a lot gained, namely a wife. Yeah, let's wipe out this large army here. They may not have the numbers, but we don't want them to group up. Okay, so this is Christian victory. How is this? Okay, are you fighting with us? Right, we'll send out to. Okay, that is my own Yaldum. So this would be my heir. Who would we marry our heir to? Who is this? Ah, uh, King Ayuvar the Boneless. Yaldum of Sevilla. I don't know how to say it. I really don't, and I don't have a clue. So be gentle. Be so gentle. And just forgive it. <laughs> Uh, we'll just look at his stats then. So he's kind of meagre and he's not really fantastic. Um, we'll go with her. She's actually quite well rounded. Which is obviously quite good for us. So there we go. We'll have our heir married off. Now uh, we're going to go ahead and pick ourselves a new ambition. Become the King of England. Uh, we'll have a daughter. Mostly because we can do that one. Fairly quickly. Now, this is brand new. This is from the um, Life something, I forgot what it's called. <laughs> I'm going to go with the hunting. I mean, the health, 
modify is ridiculous. But then again, the fertility one is also... Actually, no. Ooh. Ooh. You know what? Actually, I'm going to tell you the fertility one. Fertility is ridiculous. We'll have a lot of kids. We'll have a lot of heirs. It might lead to some problems in the future due to inheritance. But fuck it. It'll be okay. As our heir, married, we need a new steward. You're not too happy with me, are you? But you should be okay. After the war, we need to uh, send out these guys. So he's our son. Okay. We'll have you um, study technology in Constantinople. Now, the Vikings... Uh, well, the name Vikings wasn't actually their name. It was just a name that was kind of romanti uh, romanticized in later centuries. Um, they were basically just Germanic tribes in the north. It's kind of weird calling them bar... Well... I was going to say barbarians then, but that would have been completely incorrect. I mean, they had trade as far as Constantinople. I do believe they had colonies as such in northern Russia. Well, northern Siberia. That kind of area, which is really interesting, actually. Your commanding presence on the battlefield was felt during the recent victory by friends and foes alike. You bolstered the spirits of the men when it was needed most, and you personally led the final charge that broke the back of the enemy. Oh, shit. It's a lot of prestige. That is a definite fuck ton. Okay, so he's fighting King Ivan as well. Or Ivar. If anybody has any particular history on this period and this conflict, you could go ahead and post that in the comments. That would be fantastic. Always good to try and teach people. And to teach me, because I'm not that good at every period of history. Um, I did study Athens and um, um, some of, well, a bit of ancient Greece. I didn't get to spend that long on it, sadly. I did do a um, course in Britain and Ireland and uh, Russia. From a uh, revolutionary period to, obviously, World War Two Soviet period. That was pretty fun. The Britain and Ireland one, not so much, because it was incredibly fucking boring. It was so boring. Oh my god, it was boring. God. You felt like crying. Do we have any special um, Cassius Bellies that we could potentially use as a lot of troops are? Mm, take Honkybine, choose Plot. Um, well, my own about we're already at war, aren't we? So what am I doing? East Anglia. Okay, let's deal with this army here, then we probably have a decent amount of war score. Yeah, so this is Northumbria's main army. So we'll come down here. There we go, we've just been reinforced. This is a little overkill, to be honest. I don't think I'll form the Kingdom of England. I would like to keep the Yolvik name. And then, depending on how well this series goes, we could probably try and um, export this to EU4 for some of fun. Okay, so we captured a mayor, a bishop, a whatever that is. So, all in all, pretty well. All in all, we did pretty well, should I say. Right, we'll take the um, principal Holden. Okay, so this is the invasion of Umbria. So we end. Uh, we should end up with a decent amount of land. Um, we should look to try and establish the Dane law. Now the Dane law was. Um, is that Scotland? Huh. No. Yeah, the Dane law was basically um, from about here. It might have been down here as well. It was like kind of this area from Yorkshire, Midlands kind of area where it was uh, the. Well, uh, Germanic peoples, the Swedes, Danes, Norwegians, that kind of thing. And then down here was, what were the Anglo-Saxons like to become? Well, the Kingdom of uh, Wessex is basically the kingdom that formed England. Through its success. And just being able to survive. So there you go. 
And the bad guy is a no more. So we're going to see Hungry Form. Great Moravia. It's interesting. We'll have to try and see if we can make it down to India. I do believe we can do... Um, well, we can go and raid as well. So we could try and fuel our economy by raiding um, Asturias and around the coast here. That would be pretty fucking awesome. Good as well. I mean, we could try and build up our economy. Which is odd to say as a... Uh, Raider, isn't it? Well, who knows? We'll see where we go with this. I think this could be a fun little game. Right. 92%. We're not far away. Now, speaking of the changes to uh, Crusader Kings 2, uh, the biggest change, let's see if I can find an example of, which is down here, the biggest change I fucking adored was uh, the fact of rebellions. They're not just all individual bloody counties. That was so annoying, because it would take... Oh, God, it was annoying. Now the revolts are unified, and they're... Um, the leader of the rebellion. Where is he? Yeah, the leader of the rebellion has the equivalent title of the person he's rebelling against. So he's rebelling against the king, he becomes a king. Unless, uh, well, until you put him down. See, so Italian revolt, he will be a king. And there we go, a king. Well, if the yeah, Byzantines had any, we'd see the same. It's a nice system. I really appreciate it. It makes it a lot easier to deal with rebellions, a lot simpler. So enforce our demands. And there we go. The Kingdom of Jorvik has expanded. Right, so we can also usurp a title. The Petty Kingdom of Northumbria. Hmm, can't you see? Yeah, usurp while at war. Now we're going to have a little bit of a problem with inheritance. We also have the wrong... Types of Holdens. The city of Newcastle. I actually have grandparents who live in um, Newcastle, so that's pretty cool. Right, so we could press claims there. We will most likely have a truce. Do I have a truce? Am I uh, completely not used to how diplomacy works now? Where is it? Right click to interact. Ah, right, okay. That is fair enough. So dismiss our levy. Now if we were to... Right, so we have conquest CBs. Which is interesting. I would have thought that we could have had a holy war. Religion. Yeah, we have Germanic culture. So basically, the religion of the uh, gods in the north. That sort of thing. Four and etc, etc. Well, Odin. Yeah, it's, I'm not really too knowledgeable on that, so I'm not going to say too much. I don't want to annoy anybody. <laughs> right, so... Um, what should we do? We'll take a look at the opinion map modes. Actually, it's not too bad. Really? Hmm. Let's check out who have the... Well... Who our vassals are. Count Owen. Or Oswin. Okay. These two do not like each other. Prince Bishop. Okay, that's not too bad. I think we could handle anything that happens. So what we'll do is we'll let time go by and um, let's see if we can raise a fleet. Now this army will be interesting. Great, we got smallpox. Can we use this title now? I should give away this title. Right, so I've got some titles to give away. So let's look at our vassals. Um, I don't want to give it to him. 
We'll release this man. Uh, actually, we'll ransom him. He'll like us a little bit extra and... Huh. Interesting. We'll give these titles to our son. I'm so no used to this. Right, Grant Landed Title. We'll give you the city of uh, Newcastle. There you go, my son. And again, we'll send Mr. Oswin of Lancaster to uh, the faraway lands of the uh, Purple Phoenix. And my god, he's actually a fucking genius at collecting taxes. We'll have this uh, man to train our troops in Jorvik. I apparently did not send him. To the purple phoenix you go. Right. We need to improve relations, so let's see. Or improve uh, relations with the Danish. No, we do not have a better diplomat. So we'll improve uh, diplomatic reputation. Well, diplomatic relations. Sorry. With uh, the most powerful of our vassals. He has two vassals. Two. Two. That would be me. Two. Okay. We'll give it to the uh, Prince of Bishurip. Bishurip. Well, we'll just improve relations with him, should I say. Okay, now that that's done. So we see if we can go for some raiding. I'm interested to see if we actually can do this, to be honest. So there we go. Right. And we have one more title to give away. We'll just give it to my son again. I don't believe he will become a priest. Family. No, he's a male, so that's good. We don't have that problem anymore. Our son is still eligible to inherit. Uh, shall let's take a look at our laws. So we have the Ducal Laws of uh, Jovic. Uh, we're going to increase our centralization. Centralization is a very new thing. I'm not particularly too um, up to date with it. But it seems pretty cool. Alright. So we can take 1,400 men? Possibly? Um, okay. Let's make a new unit. Yeah. I think we'll hold off, and instead uh, we could try and build some port, try and get um, a hard number of galleys to go up. Right, so we've got castle fortifications. Actually, we're going to build a um, church, and that'll work quite nicely. We gave in there some extra levies, of course a crap ton of gold, which is nice. Gold is always good. Doesn't matter where you're from. Or what you're doing. It is good. Yeah. Okay. Now then. So you're a king, my friend, are you? My son is not married. Or try and find him a wife. Preferably not from here. Actually, no, wait a minute. Okay, he does have a wife. Interesting. Right. So you have a small but powerful kingdom. Do we advance um, to Mercia? I think we should push to the border. And he is at war. 
Who are you at war with, my friend? Ah. The Danes. So this is a call to war. Hmm. I'm going to decline that. I'm going to declare war myself and take the land. Not a plot. Am I not allowed to... God damn it. <laughs> you can tell I'm very much out. There we go. Uh, we'll take Lincoln. Okay. Call our allies to war. The hardest part will probably be... Huh. Mm -hmm. Do, 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 do. I miss the music for this game. Who are you fighting? Right, King Argle. Atagle. At Atagle? Uh, well, it served. Yeah, probably a good thing we did. Also nice to see uh, what's going on over there. Da, 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 da. Oh, we can't save our allies. Actually, we'll um, release those men. We'll not piss off our vassals. There we go. Siege down the principal Holden. Now, how long is it going to take for this to be constructed? Not too long. <laughs> so it looks like uh, we've got a revolt going on down in the south. Now, I'm not too sure what to call this series. I should have thought about that a bit more. And that reminds me as well. If you guys would like your names in the game, just comment and um, try and think of something like a Germanic name, and that'd be pretty cool. You could name sons, daughters, and that sort of thing after them. That'd be pretty cool. Right. So, this war's practically over already. A son. Huh. Half done. There's a large army. <laughs> huh. Okay. Aquitone. Oh wow, Aquitone actually did quite well. Rumours of traitors. Oh shit, that reminds me. Right, so we could found a new kingdom. That's actually not too much. What do we need? Prestige are at least a thousand. Uh, realm signs at least 35. Hold free duchy titles has a personal wealth of 300. That's not too hard at all. Yeah. So we just need to increase the size of our realm. I mean, we take lands from um, Mercia, we'll definitely be able to do that. Establish the Kingdom of Jorvik. Pass some uh, more high-level laws. Nice. What are these uh, problems? What's your beef? Insulted. Are oh, you now? We'll send you a small gift. There you go. I would like the um, centralization to go forward, please. I 
Right, so let's take a look at our king, actually, then. We are King Halfton of, uh... Oh, White Shirt, okay. Nice, my wife is pregnant. That's always something good. Um... There's a lot more things here now. It's very much detailed. I'm going to have to take a look at some of the mods out there, actually. There's quite a lot of mods on the workshop. Something I definitely should take a look at. Titles, Petty Kingdom, okay. So we are 45, so we're not going to live that much longer. Hopefully we might live to 80. We could be an old bastard. Why the fuck not? It would be awesome. It would be the bees. Preferable. Knees. Defender of Coventry successfully raided. Okay, the defenders. They're doing things. Right. <laughs> yep, and uh, Byzantium has uh, rebellions. That is some nifty star work going on right there. And the free stars. Okay. I'm going to be um, very interested in the plight of um, Asturias. A few um, kingdoms have had um, colour changes as well, which is pretty interesting. Are we being raided? Wow. Okay. So we'll um, enforce our demands. There we go. We'll put down these dirty raiders. Who are you actually from? Okay. Well, you're gonna get it one day, my friend. Can we reach his men? No. Fair enough. Okay, so we'll put down our uh, troops and we'll give out these titles. So what do we have? A temple and a city. Fair enough. Who do we have in our um, court? Oswin Hales. Now he's out on council business. My half brother. I do not want to give him anything. <laughs> My chancellor. Now he's a courtier. Harladustal. He's a defender, unpredictable leader. He's lustful, he's zealous. He's brave and gluttonous. He's 26. I think what we might do is we'll um, give this young fellow a city and then we could try and marry him into the family. He looks quite a nice guy. He's got the good um, old strong ginger beard gun on there. So he seems pretty decent. So we shall give you a city. The city of Boston. Which is interesting. I didn't actually know about that. Okay. Um, we shall get ourselves a holy man in our court. I should have checked who that was, but we'll find out, won't we? Because being a guy at the bottom. There we go. Yep, you're a master mind theologian. And we shall give you the temple of Lincoln. There we go. So we increase our realm size to 22. So we are slowly getting there. Okay. A daughter. Vigdis. There we go, and we've fulfilled our ambition. Now what should we have? Become King of England. Ah. Actually... I will say that, um... Ambition. It should give us some really good CBs. Could we declare for that? We still have the conquests, of course. Right, so we'd lose a hell of a lot there. So it looks like we just have the conquest ones for now. Which is unfortunate. You're fighting Mercia. Okay. Um, I don't know how many troops he'd have. Let's see. So he has 6.4k levies. How many could we raise? We could raise 7.89. Um, actually, I'm going to let my 
Men recover. I'm gonna let my uh, forces recover for a time. Okay. So apparently went into the second episode. That is how good at intros I'm doing. I am. Yes. My liege, my mission to Yellen. Yellen, I don't know how well you say that, Mother Me, I'm doing a terrible French accent. Uh, has so far been a success during my visit to the court of Gordy Inkloff of Arlachos. I seem to have managed to make him understand what a benevolent pious ruler you are, and he sends his regards. Well, that's fantastic. The Lannisters always send their regards. So, expansion is going to be interesting. The, um, Jalland? Oh shit! That changed! <laughs> that did indeed change! Wow! Okay, so we got a competition. Hmm. We'll tip off the victim. Right. Okie dokie. That was a religion. Actually, that reminds me, we should try and spread um, our religion. There you go. We'll try and convert them. Convert the Christian pigs. Um, how much gold do we have? 157. Can't a. Um... Hello. Um, the High Chief. This would be that blow then. Possibly? Oh. Snap. Okay, well, except for that. I mean, it's pretty far away. We can see the amount of troops he has as well. Um, not too many actually. Not too many at all. Hmm. Let's see, what are the lands like? Uh, we'll go to the economic. My wife is pregnant. Ah. Dear. Wonderful. Uh, so the lands down in the south are of course richer, so... We'll head that way. It's just the thing is... I have fought to do and I cannot be the father of my wife's absolute baby. As it grows in her belly, I have trouble sleeping and I must put this matter to rest. Hire somebody to find out. Only five gold. Peace of mind. Why are we not getting this? <laughs> Come on, guys. Why are you opposed? I can send you gifts. Oh wow! The maid I paid to spy and my wife has confirmed my suspicions. Hakon of Hakonland is Axlod's lover, and the real father of my child. Okay, who are you actually? Oh! Snam, you get around, don't you? Well. Huh. I think I'm gonna need a new wife. I could take concubines actually, but I don't want to have that many kids, so we'll take concubines soon. Uh, give or take. They have a rebellion. A Catholic uprising. That's fantastic. Hopefully, while it's weak into the north. Uh, we should definitely invade the south there. Just a shame that he took all that land. I shouldn't have really helped him, but I don't think he um, would have been able to survive anyway. Poor, poor bloke. Okay. So we're earning 5.81 gold a month. Not too much, honestly. Uh, we should grade our tech. Give us access to more shipyards. Um, which is good. I would like to raid. That's for fiefdom. Okay, we'll grant you a title. Shit. Uh, we shall grant you the county of... 
Lincoln. There you go, my son. So this is mine under my direct control. Good. We have centralization. The realm is somewhat decentralized and cannot well and can effectively handle several vassals. That's good. That's good, y'all. Yeah. Okay. Ah. You pitch. So is she a bastard? No. Ah, here's the bastard. Yeah. You bastard. Okay. Hmm. We shall not let fear rule our life. It's probably the uh, father of the child wanted to murder, well, murder me, sorry. <laughs> okay. This whole taking um, a county one at a time is a little old. So I believe I'm going to try and fabricate a claim on the kingdom. Which is um, over here. <laughs> Somewhat annoying. Makes things a little more interesting. So we'll just have to wait till the war finishes. We haven't spent any troops on manpower, so we should be strong enough to tie them. It's a shame um, naval combat isn't in this game. It would be pretty awesome. It does feel like it's needed. Well, then again, I suppose it would be a uh, big change in the series one it in the direction it takes. Okay, so we've got the Italian Revolt, the Byzantine Revolt, the Asturian Revolt, and the Chieftain of Yellen. Hmm. How big is that claim? The Rangian Guard. Basilius, the great king of the Greeks, is distraught over the poor metal his countrymen. Knowing well our skill in battle, he has decided to form a bodyguard consisting solely of Norse warriors. Those who serve him in the great city of uh, Milkgrad Milk Milk are generously rewarded. Even now, many of our young men, eager for riches and adventure, have departed for Greece to pick up his banner. The Varangian guard is formed. He is a badass looking emperor. Holy shit. Owns a holy relic. Carousa. Okay, so that's interesting now with the uh, Varangian Guard formed. Uh, we should possibly be able to send our sons, or our sons may ask to join the guard, where they may die, but they will probably earn a good amount of prestige and, um, well, just renown and etc. etc. Which is all good. Okay, what are these, um, okay, so it's just a pet, well, it's a Catholic uprising, which is fair enough. Right. Um, we'll upgrade our town infrastructure, and legalism. There we go. That's the men's size. Uh... We're getting closer. Is anybody withdrawing or holding any vassal levies? No, they're not, actually. Uh, we can't actually pull many levies from our vassals. Which is unfortunate. Okay. My mother died at the age of 70. Commissioner Runestone. Hmm. Uh, we'll save that for when we want to try and pass something. Actually, let's take a look at our uh, titles. Nope. Not that. Oh god, I can't remember how do it. There we go. Okay. Let's see what we have here. It's 
Of what duchy are you part of? The Duchy of Lancaster. Right, we need to try and tell you these. If we gain Chester, we'd probably be able to usurp that. Lincoln. Hmm. You're part of my petty kingdom. Right. So the war goes fairly well. He's uh, coming into my lands. That is not nice. Please don't do that. I think we'll bring uh, this rebellion to an end. And um, continue this series another time. It's actually quite late, right? About, well, right here is about 2am. Something like that. Yeah. So remember guys, if you like this, you can always comment, subscribe. Especially subscribe, that would be fucking awesome for you guys. And um, as ever, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, have a fantastic day. And um, I shall see you later on the next video. Goodbye, my friends.